Hello, 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 and welcome to the Sparker Yarn Crafts channel. My name is Will Sparker. If you are here watching this video today, it is Friday. These are my life updates. Uh, if you are normally here just for yarny related things, this is all about my personal life. There's no really yarn related things in this video. So if that's not what you're here for, um, you're free to click away and go about your YouTube journey. Um, this is just for those who like to know what's going on in my life. Um, so I'm going to get a little comfortable. Anywho, okay, so where to begin? Um, I guess the first thing is that my roommate's boyfriend has Corona, or as we call it, the Rona. Um, so we're having to be super careful. She went and got tested. We don't have her results yet. Um, so she is sitting, or at the time of filming, she doesn't have results yet. So she's pretty much staying put in her room until we find out. She doesn't seem to have any symptoms. I know that there's people who are asymptomatic, but um, she's not really showing any signs of illness. So I'm, I feel confident that she's negative, but we have to wait and see. If she tests positive, I will go get tested because that means we've all been, I mean, if she has it, we've all been exposed. Even if she doesn't, we've, you know, there's second, secondary exposure. Um, so that's fun. Um, other than that, there's not really any news in that region. Um, just found out my brother's going to be moving to Jacksonville, Florida. That was a shot out of nowhere. Um, and he announced it in a group chat with my mom and my sister. So it's kind of, we're all just, you're moving since when? And he currently lives in Ohio. So he's moving from Ohio to Florida. And then my mom is apparently moving to Texas. Ugh. It's like, can I moved and then everyone was like, oh, moving sounds like such a great idea. We should all do that. No, it's just supposed to be me. Fine. I don't have a problem with my mom moving. I just have a problem with my mom moving to Texas. I don't want to go to Texas. I mean, I do want to go to Texas. Like, I want to visit Texas. But, I don't know. Texas just seems like such an odd place for her to live. It's not really like, it's not like her. It's not, I don't know, whatever. She's, she's going to do what she wants to do. I can't really complain, I guess. I mean, I can, I can complain and I'm going to complain, but it's not going to change anything. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, so yeah, everybody seems to be moving. What else? I know I had more to talk about, but I kind of just drew a blank. It's also really hot in this garage and I'm kind of hyped up on coffee. So my mind's running about a thousand miles an hour. Um, I'm scheduling CBT therapy soon. Um, okay, so I should have done that a long time ago. I should have actually started therapy a long time ago, but then, you know, everything happened and we were at home and they were doing video appointments. And that's fine for my psychiatrist because my psychiatrist appointments are more about just making sure that the medicine is working. You know, it's not really therapy. It's, you know, discussing maybe some of the major things that happened that may have affected or not affected or been affected by the medication. So it's more of a monitoring of the medication so that we can make sure that we're on the right dosage and that we're on the right medication, that there's no weird side effects. So, you know, th that I don't mind because it's really, it's a very clinical discussion. Uh, but when we started staying at home, I do have a bedroom and my bedroom is, it's nice, but the door on my bedroom is an accordion style sliding door. There's not really any privacy. There's no lock. I mean, there is privacy. Like I can close the door obviously, but if anybody's downstairs, they're going to hear everything I'm talking about. Um, even if I use headphones and you can only hear one part of the conversation, the things I mention are, you know, those are the things that I'm talking about. And it's not that I'm talking about anyone in the home, 
It's just that my personal feelings about therapy are that this should be private. It doesn't matter if it's about you or if it isn't, but these are things that I'm working on. These are things that I'm working on with a professional. These are things that are going on in my life. And I might not necessarily want you to know those things. I might not want you to know that I had a panic attack last night. I might not want you to know about the occasional suicidal thoughts that I have. Um, not, who uh, disclaimer, not having any of those currently. Uh, just, you know, if those things were to come up, those are private things and things that I want to, you know, discuss with a professional because they're sometimes people are very well-meaning and I love people who want to give input and want to be empathetic and give support, but some people don't know how to do that appropriately. Even when I have shared what makes me feel better in those instances because sometimes it just doesn't click and so sometimes I don't want to share those things because no matter how well intended the response may be uh it doesn't always come across as the best response and it can make things worse so I hadn't scheduled therapy because I didn't feel like I had a private enough space to be able to have a therapy session without being overheard um, I can come in the garage, which is where I am now, and I film in here, and I do actually have a sign on the door that says filming in progress, please do not open the door. So I can always put something on the door that says I'm currently having a, an appointment, please do not open the door. Um, you know, if I need to do that, I will. Uh, but that's why I hadn't scheduled it yet. Uh, but uh, just things kind of come up, and I had a couple of days in a row that were just really, really stressful and I didn't exactly handle them the best. And that was kind of like my, okay, the medication is not a fix all. You need to, you need to talk to professionals. You need to be able to discuss this with somebody who doesn't know who you are and can just listen to the things that you say. So I'm getting that scheduled and we're going to go, go ahead and go forward with that. Um, which I think is a big, I think that's a big step for me. I, I'm not afraid of therapy. Again, it was just more about privacy. Um, if, if these sessions were being held in an office, I wouldn't have given it a second thought. I would have scheduled immediately, but, um, it was, it was a privacy thing pretty much. Um, do I have anything else? Mm, I don't think so. I'm trying to think of anything else major. Oh, <laughs> forgot this about my own life too. My birthday is next week. Um, so actually, if you're seeing this on Friday, my birthday is Monday. So if you're seeing this on Friday, this would be the 26th. Um, so my birthday is Monday, the 29th. So that's exciting. I'm turning 29 years old. The theme is unicorns. No, I'm not having a party. Um, but the theme is unicorns. And um, I will be celebrating the last year in my 20s. And then uh, I've already decided for my 30th birthday as kind of a joke. Um, everyone has to wear black. It's going to be like coffins and death related things. And we're going to celebrate the loss of my 20s. <laughs> it was a funny joke. I'm sorry if that was kind of offensive, but I thought it was funny because that's kind of how I'm going to feel. I'm going to feel like, oh, now I'm a real adult. I hate being an adult. I just want to be a kid forever. Maybe not forever. I think I would eventually get tired of being alive. God, I hope that's how I feel when it comes time. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I guess I probably should put a trigger warning there. Anywho. Okay. It's hot in here. I think I'm going to go back into the air conditioning. Um, so thank you so much for joining me for these slightly morbid life updates. I hope they were not too depressing. I should start thinking of a joke to tell at the end of all of my videos. Hmm. Do I have any good jokes I can tell now? Oh, why are seagulls, why are seagulls called seagulls? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Dumb joke of the day. <laughs> Have a great weekend. I will see you all again very soon here on the Sparkle Yarncrafts channel. Thanks. Bye.